New information this afternoon in the shooting of a black teenager in Kansas City. The 85 year old white man who shot Ralph Yarl turned himself into police and bonded out a short time later. As CBS 2's Adriana Diaz reports, the teen's family is speaking out as classmates turn out in large crowds to show their support. Chanting, we love you, Ralph, students walked around Staley High School in Kansas City, Missouri Tuesday in a show of support for junior Ralph Yarl. His family says he was shot twice last week after going to the wrong address. He went to Northeast 115th Street instead of Northeast 115th Terrace, one block away, to pick up his younger siblings from a friend's house. It was about 9.45. I'm like, Ralph, can you please pick up your brothers for me? Being the kid he's, he is, he said, okay. Yarl's mother, Cleo Nagby, told CBS Mornings her son, who was shot above the eye and in the arm, is continuing to receive medical care at home. Physically, mornings are hard, but his spirits are in a good place. The man accused of shooting him, 84-year-old Andrew Lester, is facing two felony charges, armed criminal action and first-degree assault. According to the probable cause statement, Lester told police he thought someone was breaking into his house. I can tell you there was a racial component to the case. Jarl is an honor student and all-state band member. No teenager is a perfect teenager, but I'll tell you what Ralph and I will argue about. Ralph and I will argue about Ralph, can you put the sheet music down and do your English homework? <laughs> Mom, I don't want to do Eng my English homework because it's boring. That's what, that's what we argue about. His mother says Yale University has asked Yarl to apply to their school twice. Adriana Diaz, CBS News, Kansas City, Missouri. The family and their attorneys are meeting today with prosecutors to find out why Lester wasn't charged with attempted murder. The shooting has sparked protest and the house where the shooting happened has been vandalized.